Yo, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to Brick Me. I'm Scotty. I'm Scotty. How are you watching? Me, miss. Where I review alternative bricks that if you don't like, you can go suck up my bricks. Today, we're looking at the teddy bears. Again, if you have not watched my old in bricks videos, go watch them. I'll give you all the information. They've been around now for the last year. They're amazing. Just look at this thing. So today, we're looking at in bricks's teddy bear baking house. 8811. Zero three. I don't know how many pieces, but doesn't matter because it has two brick lights. Do we like brick lights, Chris? Yes. No, no. I don't. <laughs> anyway, damn, man. Okay, she's so got brick lights. We'll turn those on. We'll look at the bears. First of all, let's look at the box. So this is the box right here, which is cool because this is available on my store, brickmapscotty.com. And hey, what do you know? It has a little handle here. So when you buy the set, you can carry it home. That's genius. I like that. First impression seeing the box is the artwork. It looks absolutely gorgeous. It looks very detailed, very complex style to it. That's the artwork. How does the brick look? Well, you can see the set in front of me. Before we do that, let's look at the back. Some details there. And your teddy bears. And is there anything else interesting? The sides, maybe. Some artwork there. More information uh, there. You can scan the QR code. Let it take you to another place so you can zone out and oh look it really does have the dimensions right there that you can see and some technical information it's original design a license set don't forget in bricks is panelist bricks let me show you the booklets and chris is gonna zoom in on that how you doing chris good all right so you guys are all enjoying the shorts chris is the one helping me shoot all the shorts for you guys because he's like you got to give them more videos man I hope you guys are happy. Here's the back of the manual. Let's look on the inside of this. Have they improved it any? There's one page there for you. Now they're still doing this like background image for the bears that kind of blocks it a little bit, but it's easy to follow, easy to read. Got the bears here. Let's look at the bears closely because they are so lovely. I think one of them is actually similar to the other set. You got the detective. Why do we need a detective? I have no idea, but he's holding his briefcase. I love his trench coat. I think it's a badass design. You got the cook inside this place. And finally, you got the waiter. I'm assuming that's the waiter because he's going to serve you some cake. Very nice. I like the look at him. Fun to put together. A-OK. -okay. okay, now that we have the real set in front of me, my first impression after doing it is like, yo, it is pretty intricate. And it was a lot of fun to put together. Unfortunately, the other two that I reviewed before, I've already taken them down. I don't have space anymore. So I can't put these side by side. They definitely are all each one an independent look and feel to them. They're not going to quite go together. This one, however, I feel like it will go better with a minifigure, which later on I'll put the BTS boys and Chris will help me get some shots of what it looks like with a regular figure on here. And it looks pretty damn amazing. Chris, you're seeing this for the first time. What do you think so far? Yeah, pretty good. Yeah. It's pretty wild, right? Now on this side here, there's a clock. I was missing one piece. It was a gold wrench piece. And I don't know if I was actually missing it or if my daughter lost it. Those pieces are like usually from a little model kit they pull off and it didn't have didn't come with one. So anyway, minor thing, I just replaced it with my own. We're seeing it to the back here. Plain. But the set opens up in a really nice way. It's no surprise. It's just like the other teddy bear sets. I'm gonna come back here and let me talk about the details along the front. Look at that, it looks pretty good, right? You do get a sticker sheet, damn it. There are some stickers going over tiles, which I'm not happy about. However, the printed pieces, in my opinion, kind of make up the set. I love the variation of the colors. It's not like overly cheap looking. And as I said, the design of this is actually pretty intricate. And I really enjoy it, it's very different. The other ones were like more simple and plain. And I think they got it down. And now they're just coming out with even more sets. So hopefully they keep the set going. So along the front there, it's all tiled. You got some flowers and even some have dropped down on the pavement. You got the sign there and even along the top there, baking house, that's a printed sign. I like the gold pieces of the door handles. You got some flower beds on this side here and lots of flowers. And the manual, maybe the flower colors might be off. Mine might be a little bit different than yours. Got a couple signs here and here. That's one of the stickers going across the tile these little pipes here for the design right there 
but every piece or the wall, there's not much of a wall, it's like all window pieces, but in between all the brick pieces and the wall, it looks pretty good, right? And the rails up here, everything kind of looks a little bit different. It's refreshing, that's the word. It's a refreshing build, man. Check this out, this is kind of cool. If, I got, if I'm doing this right, look at that. This can actually open up there. So you got a little bit of an access to go inside and the set does come apart. But well, I thought that was actually pretty clever and you can already kind of see some of the cakes down there. But we'll look at that more closely. The two street lamps, very cool. All chrome gold. I like that. And then we come up to the second part here with the balcony. I really like it. Now you see these little pieces, these little white pieces right there? Those are all little printed tiles. There's a lot of little tiles like this on the set, which are printed. I'm like, they can't afford to print those little pieces? That's pretty wild right there. Again, with the flower bed, very pretty. I like the variation. And even down here with this color, very cool stuff. There's a balcony here. You can put all your characters there. We come over here to the side here. And I think the only thing I did not like about the set is, this is printed by the way, is it has a little bit of a gap here and here. It's not closed off. I'm just nitpicking, man. So I kind of wish that was closed off, but you can already see like even the hearts there, that's all printed right there. The design and the look and even the little tower pieces here, all that kind of stuff. It looks really good to me. I'm just enjoying it when I'm spinning it around and look at this hallway here. Like this is what I'm talking about, man. It's just not a simple brick going on top of each other. It's like little, little pieces that make up for this piece. And it just looks like a nice design in my opinion. And I like how the second floor has a little tiny alleyway that you can kind of go inside. And there's a little gold lamp that's hanging down on that side too. So lots of little chrome pieces. I'm just bummed out I missed my chrome piece for that clock. This is the sticker piece I did not like. That's like one giant sticker going over this rooftop. Like, no, oh, damn it, man. But everything else kind of makes up for it. Along this part here is another little separate section that almost looks like a building in itself. Again, I like the colors, the vines, the flowers, the little joysticks that they use for the tower part there. And you can see a closer look at this clock. Now, my only other complaint is that the design here is really loose, like flimsy. So if you try to open the clock up, which I can show you now, go like that. You kind of have to hold it down because pieces may want to come off like this. It wants to come off already. So I push it down here and here like that. This is the only section that I felt like it can fall off apart on you pretty easily. But other than that, it's pretty secure. And oh, look at this side. That's a little printed tile right there too. See, they have some prints are so pretty. And I like this piece that's like a chimney with a flower coming out of it. Very nice, see what I mean? Chris, does it look cheap to you or does it look like pretty okay? Pretty good, to me, man. It's pretty nice, right? Uh, I mean, different style. Totally different. Totally different. It's like nothing I've ever seen before. So I'm like, I'm happy that it's different. Let me just show you how the back works. Now, just like the other bear houses, this one opens up. So you can open up down here and opens up there like that. And then you can open this one up as well, like that. And then you can see inside there, pretty good. And you have two brick lights. So you got one here. So you do have to use the bricks anyway. You can turn that on. You can see much clearer down there. And there's one up here. However, this one, the lights are kind of just dangling down there. You can put the lights and attach them to the wall or the ceiling. But this part comes off separately. So I would just leave them hanging loose. Like for example, if I lift this up, there's the lights right there. They don't even tell you to mount it. I think they're just like, you know what? Just, just just, throw the thing here like this and just leave it. Or you can mount the bricks further in the back wall, but I think it's pretty hard to do it. So I would just leave it like that if you're gonna display this at night and you're not really gonna see it inside. Very cool idea, but sucks to ask. You have to send it with a brick light. And a lot of sellers will not send the brick lights out because of the batteries. Take I can take the batteries out, most of them. But anyway, depending on the career, how this is being sent to you, just be aware that it should come with two brick lights and you kind of need the brick lights as part of the structure. Cool, does this set come apart easy? Let me close this up here. How does this thing come apart? Easy. So we, you saw this one already, so this one can come apart easy. And oh yeah, there's a mechanism here on the clock, watch this. Chris is gonna go, look at that. Oh, it got a function. So yeah, that, that piece that's spinning is supposed to be gold. The star, or the flower piece is gold at least. So that's pretty cool, it's a very simple mechanism right there and as i mentioned this part here can pop down really easy so you have to be careful for that but i like this little piece it's like a little hut right there i just only realized that there's actually a little handle here so you can slide the light out 
there's the brick light if you don't need the light or you need to change the battery. At least they thought about that, man. But the other brick light on the second floor is stuck in there for good. Second floor can come off just like a little tiny modular. Look how easy that was. So good, right? Put that here. Oh, the flowers are gonna make this thing pop up. It's not gonna be even, see? They tell you in the manual too, make sure you take off the flowers or you know what? Just rotate them up a little bit so they're out of the way. So you can put the thing flat, that's easier. And we come here to the first floor. Just to show you if I were to flip it like this, everything is intact. Everything is holding into place. There's not any loose pieces. That's kind of cool like that, right? Interesting, but yes. Brick light equals wires. They're gonna have this wire just hanging out there. There's no way to hide that. But I like how they put the brick light on these hinge pieces. Anyway, it's just like pushed back in the corner and it, it just, it's, it's, it's held in there really nice. I like that. So for once, I kind of like the setup. Just the wires are not hidden. We walk inside. You got a mat there with the stickers. It's baking time. And again, on that corner, the little cake and a flower. If I open up here for you again, they can just kind of see how that opens up. So nice, you can get your hands back there and you can take, you can open this up and you can certainly get your hands in this whole set, but there's a little wall right there and super durable. All right, so we walk in, we pass that mat. On this side, you got a giant cake. Look at the size of that cake. Those are stickers on the cake, by the way. You got a croissant there and all the little small cake that you see lying around, like on along the back wall there, those are all printed pieces, the signs, or stickers. Chris, I'm getting hungry. Are you getting hungry? Yes. In the middle is a very simple counter, but you do have more cakes there with a cherry on top of one of them, a little teapot there. Signs all over the place, as I mentioned, they're all stickers. And this back wall right here, compared to the other ones, this one has like the most detail I've seen. This is pretty good. Except for the sticker that's going over the tile, you got some cabinets along the bottom. Looks like a little microwave there, which is all prints. And all the ingredients, like all this little see-through clear tiles you see are all prints and even the baking sign is prints it looks like you have a couple drinks there and an open counter there to maybe bake the cake oh the window's really really scuffed up right there it's all scratchy it's pretty simple stuff but overall i'm happy with this man it's like all this it's so much fun together and chris i built this all in one setting one sit down i think i completed it in like a couple hours it was really fast to put together because it gets really small when you come in to the second floor right here. Whew. Once again, the design of the windows, the awning pieces here, having the little flowers there and there. I think the design of that is really good. I'm not sure if I'm a fan of the color here, but it still looks all right. It looks very European though, right? I don't know. They really put some thought into the set basically, which is really good. And again, the sign right there, the opening hours, but I'm just not a fan of the gap. Right there, I kind of wish they closed it off. And yeah, plenty of spaces to put your fig there. And even like here, look at that. Prints, and even the back on the brown, those are all prints. Make sure you use the right bricks because man, there's so many like duplicate bricks, some that don't have prints. You might not see the side that uses the print and use it instead. I did that so many times on the set because I didn't realize like they were printed pieces. But anyway, let's look on the inside of this one. And even though the back does open up, it's a little bit harder to get into this section. There's no way to get to the second floor. Again, they could have made a staircase or something, man. So if they're trying to be like realistic, they could have at least put something there. But okay, let's see if this makes up for it, what's on the inside. So you come in and this is where they bake all the cakes. You got a fire or a stove there. I really like the design. Those are all printed pieces, gold sink. And oh, that is a sticker going over the two bricks there. The stove, it looks like a bread being baked but on top of that all those little ingredients or those little pieces are all prints and even the stool they see print and the table here with like where they actually roll out the dough and stuff those are all printed pieces man so you got to give them that that looks good and finally you got this other cabinet here in the corner there's nothing in there except the croissant on top and more ingredients and a sticker along the bottom on the back wall here there's only this piece of sticker right there and one more sticker here that you probably don't need to use and yeah, if you close that wall up, it'd be impossible to get your hands inside here. The multiple plates along the bottom, right there. And as I showed you earlier, this piece right here, I like the little dial that turns, the mechanism is fine, the big light there. And I just like, it's like a little tiny hut, little house on its own. And I do like this little flower along the top. 
and just the overall intricate design. This actually reminds me of the Dingao set that we reviewed before. But yeah, as you can see underneath, there's nothing there. And just only this design, this part here, see? This part can come off really easy. There's not much secure there, but you can see underneath there, the two wheels. It's very simple design. They could have made this a little bit more secure. Oh yeah, and look, those are printed pieces there. See, I'm telling you, it's a pretty wild set. Oh, I just almost dragged this whole thing off. So we put this all back together. Everything looks pretty simple. Push this down here. Put this back on top. Oh, the rooftop came off. Oh, so this might actually come off easy, but it's actually just as easy to put it back on like that. Snaps in there and the side too. Easy, there, yeah, good. Make sure the little joysticks are sticking straight up. The little tower parts. And there you go. The teddy bear brick bakery cake shop. Let me show you a couple shots here. I'll put some music for you. Chris will put some figures around BTS boys having some cake. What it looks like if you think it's to scale or not, or if it's for you. You guys let me know in the comments what you think. You know, I think it's plenty of room for the figures inside. Just the second floor is pretty hard to get to. So on the second floor, I would just put the guys on the balcony. And now that we're done with that, let's measure the sucker up. Oh, look at that. It's enough room on a 32. So by length, you're looking about 26 studs. By width, curves a little bit, but you're looking at around 20 studs. Good for you, Brick City? Yo, for sure, man. I think this looks really good. It doesn't even have to be teddy bears on this thing. It should just be a teddy bear theme. Now, the more I look at it on camera, the more I seem to like the set quite a lot. And as I mentioned, I didn't really have any issues with it except for that little clock area. Now let's check the height. Now break out your one by four bricks. I got my here. I'm gonna stack it right here to the flower, which is the tallest part there. And you're looking at about 31 bricks in height. So there you go. Measure your city up. See if there's enough room for you. So the video is complete. It's time to drop these bears. I think this is gonna be very disastrous. This thing is gonna collapse. You ready guys? Three, two, one. Oh. That did not survive. I told you it'd be disastrous. But not too bad. It seems like it's just the outside part. All the inside parts are pretty much intact, except the awning. Oh, I told you this part was loose. So there you guys go. In Dick's, I mean, in Brick's Teddy Bear Bakery Shop. I approve. I think it's actually a really pretty set. Plain available on my store and everywhere else. So, should we try something bigger? Build something bigger and crazier? Maybe, let's see. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You guys are absolutely amazing. And I'll catch you guys next time. Until then, pick me out.